Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, it's your girl Lungu. Welcome to another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. You can find us on Instagram as Fanny and Jesse, Facebook Fanny and Jesse, and uh, you can check out my blog, Morning Coffee with Fanny. I post some. Um, some interesting vlogs so you can just head there morning coffee with funny and just enjoy the content that i put out there you can also check out my instagram so funny oh and yeah enjoy my short poems and everything else so today i'm going to be reacting to most amazing reply to christian must watch amid did that uh, if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it so without wasting time let's get into the video you don't have to read it to me. I know your whole Bible upside down. He is one of the mightiest messengers of God, we believe. Jesus. We believe in his miraculous birth, which many modern day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe today, but we believe that Jesus Christ was born without a human father. Miracle of God's creation. We believe. We believe that he was the Messiah, the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe he gave life back to the dead, Allah, by Allah's permission. And he healed those born blind and the lepers by Allah's permission. Can't you see? This is our attitude towards this mighty messenger of God. And this mighty messenger of God, Jesus Christ, New Testament, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, 17 times. You can remember that now. 17 times. And in the next 24 books of the New Testament, once. Total, 18. Word Mary occurs in the New Testament 18 times. In this Quran of mine, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned a hundred percent more times than in your Bible. Can you believe it? Is it believable? Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned in my book one hundred percent more times than in your book. And you think that we are the enemies. Actually, 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 32. Actually, 32. It's almost 18 times 2 is 36, this is 32. It's near enough. I said 100% more times. It's a, like a figure of speech, but 32 times as against 18. This is the relationship. She, and, and, and there is a chapter, chapter in the Quran in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. The name of the chapter is Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. In your Bible, of the Roman Catholic 73 books, Mary is not one of them. In your Protestant Bible, 66 books, Mary is not one of them. You have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul. Mary is not one of them. Admit it is not there. In my book is enshrined Surah Maryam with the greatest respect in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. There's a chapter in the Quran. And you consider us to be the enemies. No, no, no. Are we trying to be funny? No, no, no. Read to you. The last expression I said was Bal Rafahullahu ilayh. But Allah took him up to himself. We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up, saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross because the people on the cross were absolutely naked. They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man. The messenger of God, you say the son of God, naked and bare before the world, you know, flies buzzing around him. No, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant, his messenger, Jesus. God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back. To just you. He is coming back. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to man. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, he's given it to us. 
So what is Jesus come and do? I says, no, he's coming along to rectify you. And he's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, he says, many will say to me on that day, in his second coming, on his return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals, you know, orphanages, and we look after, after the aborigines, and we look after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we look after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things you did. Right? We educated all these fools, you know, we civilized them, we culture them, yes, 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 we did all the things. So did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. Depart from me, foot sack, get away, you rubbish, get away. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Amazing. You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing, by God I tell you. You know, I, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing, the way you look after the animals, you know, animal conservation to preserve life. Ooh, fantastic things you are doing, but for human beings as well. What what you are doing? And that's what you're going to say to Jesus. Didn't we do all these things for you in your name? And he's going to tell you, foot sack. Foot sack. I don't know this is this Afrikaans word. It means get away. Get away, you rubbish. Like you say to the dog. He's going to do that to you. Why would he do that to you? When you did all these things for Jesus. Come, come. I am asking the Christians, he's not going to tell the Jews foot sack. He's going to tell the, not going to tell the Muslims foot sack. He's going to tell the Hindus foot sack. He's going to tell you. Why would he tell you foot sack? Get away, you rubbish. I don't know you. I'm asking the Christians. Answer. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He is not your Lord. He is not your God. I think a lot of people in different religions are actually going to get the foot sack response from uh, Jesus or whatever the case. But. Uh, the first at the beginning where he compares how many times Mary is mentioned in the Bible and the Quran. Um, I don't know. I always say no one should ever think that they're holier than the other person. Just because you have this. It really, that's why I said certain things shouldn't actually be an issue. When you look at the Bible, it came before um, the Quran. You find that yes, Mary hasn't or doesn't have a chapter dedicated to her. Also, we have to understand the time, the times in which uh, such a thing was um, given to the people, how was everything. Even when we go to the Quran, um, Mary is the only lady that actually has a dedication or like given a chapter in the Quran. Ask, we have to ask, we have to ask, we have to ask ourselves as to why is she the only one and why is this we can go on ask those things in this world at the end of the day i feel like those things are going to consume too much of our time and we're going to miss the message at the end of the day if you believe in something just go with it don't sometimes i don't know like what could be the most logical answer as to why mary is not in the bible what could be the reason that mary is only female in um with the chapter in the quran or any other thing i mean they just so so much and i think we have to focus on the main thing here uh yeah let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and yeah don't forget to suggest something down below i'll be more than glad to react to it and i'll see you in my next reaction video